click on the subscribe button, and press the bell icon, to never miss any updates. Instead, the whole world heard the Adhan this Friday. We understand why Islamophobia are promoted by leaders and enacted by straight structures. Because creating hate and suspicion against our communities is a tool that gets support for imperialist wars on our homelands and around the world. It is a tool that focuses attention on supposed the world and in the end we are the ones who are actually facing the security threats this rhetoric and these structures inspire racist anti-black and brown and islamophobic attacks across the u.s and abroad combating islamophobia and racism must be central to our cause as i just said islamophobia is perpetuated and utilized by zionists to the Palestinian struggle. It is an essential part of our work in New York City to prolong, to stand against these ideas that prolong the so-called war on terror, that spy on our members of Muslim communities and repress political organizing of all types. Islamophobia is racism and Islamophobia and Zionism go hand in hand. And we cannot depend on the state and law enforcement to defend the Arab and Muslim community here as long as it is the same state bombing Arabs and Muslims around the world. The same law enforcement spying on Muslims and shooting black men and women every 28 hours. The same legal system protection, protecting and sanctioning racism against Muslims. We know attacks. But we know that our presidents before laid the groundwork for his hate speech and they reflect his speech with their actions. They have reflected it since the inception of this country of white supremacy. And we should be just as outraged when the rhetoric ends up killing our Muslim brothers and sisters in Yemen, Kashmir, Syria, the Rohingya and Myanmar and Bangladesh. And in Palestine, the whole world must be just as outraged, and we have to expect them to be just as outraged. We must hold them to that standard. We cannot allow people to claim they are against Islamophobia and not pay attention the next day when hundreds of Palestinians are injured or killed in Gaza and the young children of Yemen are dying. We are the anniversary of one year of the Great Return March this Friday where 200 Palestinians were killed in the last year right here in Times Square 4 p.m. Friday March 29th because people who say they're against Islamophobia when it kills 51 of our brothers and sisters in New Zealand many of which were Palestinian by the way we have to be just as outraged when that rhetoric if you think the occupation of Palestine is justified and if you support the U.S. bombing of Muslim countries. And just like the whole world heard the Adhan this Friday, the whole world will wake up to Palestine the more they oppress us and the more we will expose the truth. Thank you. ITV, Call of Peace, Save Humanity.